ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் லாஸ்ட் டாபிக் அபவுட் பியூரிஃபயர் வில் பி கண்டினியூ இட்ஸ் த லாஸ்ட் டாபிக் அபவுட் த பியூரிஃபயர் ஃப்ரம் த கிளாஸ் ஃபோர் ஃப்ளைட் ஸோ வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் ஆல்ஃபா லெவல் பியூரிஃபயர் சார் பேசிக் பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் மிஸ்டிகல் ஸோ ஆல்ஃபா லெவல் பியூரிஃபயர் மெயின்லி தே ஆர் ஹேவிங் கிளாரிஃபயர் அண்ட் பியூரிஃபயர் ஸோ திஸ் மோஸ்ட்லி ஒர்க்ஸ் லைக் ஏ கிளாரிஃபயர் அண்ட் இட் ஆல்சோ ஒர்க்ஸ் லைக் ஏ பியூரிஃபயர் ஃபார் அ ஷார்ட் பீரியட் This is completely automated system where partial diesel and total diesel both can take place. Okay. Here this is the basic diagram at the representation of the water inlet and water outlet and there will be water transducer. Okay. Here the water outlet port is initially kept shut. so we will close the water outlet valve initially as the water goes on increasing till it reaches the distribution hole water will get carried over to oil side and the water transducer will sense water content in the oil this will send a common signal to water outlet sd to remove excess water so this sensor will keep uh, open until the water transducer stops detecting water content in the oil so basic here what we are doing is the water outlet valve is initially kept shut then we will keep on filling or increasing the water till it reaches the distribution hole then water will get carried over to oil oil side so then the water transducer will sense the water content in the oil this will send a common signal to water outlet and sensor will send to remove the signal will send to remove the excess water and signal will keep open until the water transducer stops dictating the water content in oil this is the basic principle so let's look at the some basic alarms that can be seen in a purifier mainly emergency stop due to vibration we can use emergency stop low boil low low oil flow that means feed rate is low low boil temperature high low boil temperature low i mean oil temperature is high oil temperature is low no such discharge no displacement water too much water content in oil water drain valve capacity insufficient power failure so the main feature alarms that we can see is emergency stop mainly due to vibration low oil flow oil temperature high oil temperature low no sludge discharge no displacement water too much water content in oil water drain valve capacity insufficient power failure these are the purifier alarms so mainly one more thing if you devise the purifier alarms are emergency stop due to excess vibration low oil flow high oil temperature low oil temperature no sludge discharge no displacement water too much water content in oil water drain valve capacity insufficient power failure so this is the basic diagram of a clutch and drive mechanism here from the motor it will move to the friction drum mainly motor is connected to the coupled with the friction pad the friction housing so from the friction pad due to its rotation of the motor friction pad will hit the friction drum and it will make the friction drum to rotate and due to that the whole circular shaft will rotate and similarly vertical shaft coupled with it also rotate and bowl coupled with the vertical shaft also rotate so this is the part of the this is part of the mechanism of bowl rotation is it so motor motor is coupled with the friction pad and friction pad is coupled with the friction drum and along with the horizontal shaft is there horizontal shaft there is worm wheel in the worm wheel at the top we can say vertical shaft there is ball bearing and in the bottom there will be thrust bearing so if we break friction drum friction pad with forward timing so friction pad this will fly out and get clutched with the friction drum as the motor is rotating the friction pad will fly out and it will clutch with the friction drum and friction drum helps to rotate the whole cylinder shaft this is what happens the motor as, as we start the motor the friction pad that will fly out from the friction pad housing 
and they should press the they should be uh, pressing the friction drum and get clutch with the friction drum and the friction drum helps to rotate the horizontal shaft so usually the bowl is very heavy and to rotate the bowl from a standstill condition we need to overcome the inertia so that we need very high power structure so the condition is when you starting the bowl is very heavy and in order to rotate the bowl from the standstill standstill condition we have to overcome the inertia so very high power is required so this will result in overloading of motor for this reason this, this is a clutch provider in the friction pad so this clutch provider which will load the motor gradually and overload what happened okay so this friction pad is provider the friction pad will clutch with the friction block and provider which will load the motor gradually and overload what happened okay friction pad is clutch with the friction drum and due to this clutching mechanism we will load the motor gradually and overload won't happen how is purifier rpm high but motor rpm is less this is mainly due to worm and worm wheel arrangement the worm wheel mainly vertical shaft is smaller than the worm the worm wheel is smaller than the worm worm wheel is connected to vertical shaft and worm to the horizontal shaft so we can say the purifier rpm is high but the motor rpm is less by so the main reason is due to worm and worm wheel mechanism their arrangement here the worm wheel is smaller than worm worm wheel is vertical shaft and worm is horizontal shaft okay due to the worm and worm wheel arrangement worm wheel is smaller than worm worm wheel is vertical shaft and worm is horizontal shaft okay the worm is big that means worm contrary to the horizontal shaft it is bigger to the whole vertical shaft worm wheel is very smaller so that's why purifier rpm will be high but the motor rpm will be less and critical rpm when purifier rotates it will have an induced frequency similarly for any machinery they will have its own natural frequency when these two that means induced frequency and natural frequency when these both match a resonance takes place and heavy vibration will occur so this usually happens at the time of stopping and during stopping it is desirable to apply brake to bypass the critical rpm okay so means when purifier rotates it will have an induced frequency every machine has its own natural frequency when this induced frequency and natural frequency matches resonance will happen and heavy vibration will occur so this usually happens at the time of stopping hence it is desirable to apply brakes to bypass this particular rpm so during starting and all this is not required as motor drives the purifier and the critical speed is passed very fast so during starting and all the applying brake this critical rpm issue there is not happening because purifier is started motor drives the purifier and the critical speed is passed very fast so bearing top bearing and bottom bearing we have seen top bearing they are self aligning spring loader roller bearing it takes care of the radial thrust they are self aligning spring loader rocker bearing roller bearing it takes care of the radial thrust bottom bearing means that thrust bearing mainly ball bearing it takes care of the axial thrust if the thrust bearing gets worn out the shaft height will change the bottom bearing that is thrust bearing if it gets worn out the shaft height will change so by adding shims below or by changing the bearing we can adjust the vertical height when the height is changed operating water or discharging water nozzle are not positioned in front of the holes so the bowl won't be able to close so if the thrust bearing 
get worn out the shaft height will get changed so this can be adjusted by the adding shims below bearing or by changing the bearing okay when this vertical shaft height is decrease or change operating water or discharging water their nozzle will not get positioned correctly in front of the hole so ball won't be able to close so in the future we can see operating water discharging water there will be nozzle and holes so when this height is changed both the operating water and discharging water nozzles will not get positioned and ball won't be close so what will happen if the motor terminals are interchanged if the motor or terminals are interchanged what will happen purifier will rotate but the parent disc won't work also purifier is attached from and it won't work so what here will happen is the purifier will start working if you attach the both terminal in a interchange the purifier will rotate but pairing with this is the centripetal pumps that will convert that will separate and send the clean oil liquid out that will not happen also if purifier is attached from that will also be not working so thank you this is what about the topic purifier from the mbo class 4 book slide so we will be discussing more topics so we shall watch